Hey guys, I found um, a video of Hagrid's motorbike while you can watch some parts of it while I record. And also, yes, uh, today I tell you what you're doing, what I'm doing. Hey guys, Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be doing a review on Hagrid's. I found a POV so you can watch and stuff. And I'm going to do, yep, so complete review and what I think of it. And yeah, so anyway, so let's get on with it. So first of all, I think it's, I mean, the launches are pretty intense. So overall, it's a great coaster. And at the end, I'll tell you guys the rating I rate of this coaster. Oh, whoops. Uh, yep. And, um... Yeah, so anyways, um, the launches on camera, if you, as you can see this first launch, they don't look that intense, but in person they are pretty intense. I actually got stuck once on this ride. Actually, I'll show you the part right here. Where I got stuck, I got... Boom. I was in the near the back row. I was like almost at the back row. We were in the... Um, third last cart, and we got stuck here. This is what it looked like for us. Obviously, the front row, they went forward, they got stuck sideways, but then they rolled back. They rolled back, and then they were just like stuck right there while we were stuck. Um, while we were stuck back here, and we were stuck there for 10 minutes, and then all of a sudden it launched us super fast out of there. And then it went, yeah, yeah, like, it launched us super fast out of there. And it's it was awesome. And and let's just say it's a very smooth coaster. It um, And it actually has very, uh, at one point here, let's show you. On these turns, it actually has, this one especially, it has like a very high, not much, but it has lots of positive Gs there. And there's not much air time on this coaster. I wish there's more. This part right there doesn't look like it, but you get a tiny bit of air time there. And that part I like at nighttime is the best because, well, you just feel like you get, you're flying through the whole layout so fast. And if you didn't know already, this part on Hagrid's actually goes backwards. As you can see, yeah, so that part's pretty fun. It's a 65 foot tall part. That part's 65 feet tall at a 70 degree angle. So it's not straight up, but it certainly feels like a linear ride. And here there's a free fall portion. So you wait, basically wait here, and then all of a sudden you free fall. Boom. That you free fall down. And then it launches you out of this tunnel at its top speed of 50 miles an hour. So I only did a, here, so. Let's go back to the beginning of this ride. Yep, so first it, have a quick launch, and then you go into some sort of like, a small turn into your second launch and surprise and then uh, uh you go some twists and turns and then you go down a little um hill part and then here is a show scene it happened a show scene right here the thing i like about this ride is it's themed very well and i mean it's probably the best themed coaster i've been on besides guardians of the galaxy cosmic rewind and then here it launches up into a turning drop and then you go through some very tight turns like this one and then the next launch another launch into another tight turn and then some um, small tiny hills like bunny hops another turn into the brakes and then <clears throat> this is not my favorite part, but like it. It's a great, great part. You go up 65 feet in the air, 70 degree angle, and you go back down backwards. And then you have your next launch. Well, you had launch there. Next launch here, backwards launch. 
So six forward launches, one reverse launch. And then we come in here and then you wait a bit while he's talking, the guy's talking, and Hagrid's talking, you drop down your, oh, whoops. You drop down, and then once you drop down, you launch out of, you go out of the cave, and you launch at your top speed of 50 miles an hour into a turn, uh, uh, a turn that goes up, then you have a transition into another turn into the brakes. And as you can see, the other drop, the turning drop, was right above us, right there. That is where the turning drop is. Just if you want to know that. And then that's basically the whole ride. What I like about this ride, I don't think it shows in this video. No, it doesn't. But basically, uh, it, 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 the platform is a moving platform. The, not platform. The place, it's a moving walkway. And station is a moving walkway the station's literally like you walk on a moving walkway and that's that's all um not all i got to say actually there's some parts where i found it this launch is not as intense and i wish it was actually more intense i kind of wish it was like 2.6 seconds 0 to 50 that would have made it a much better ride like, Tron is 2.6 seconds, 0 to 60, which is insane. And I can't wait for them to bring it to Orlando so that I can finally go on it. And the back row, there's actually a car. So, yeah. If you don't know what Tron is, it's a bike. Basically, a bunch of, you lie down on a bunch of bikes. But at the back row, there's a car. And, yeah. And... I don't know why I've wanted to do this so many times, but, uh, well, it's wrong one. I don't know why I wanted to do this so many times or show people this so many times. Here is Hagrid's motorbike if it went 100 miles an hour on this launch. Wow, that is super fast. Imagine that, imagine that, that, that is just too fast. What about something slower, actually? 1.5. Actually, pretty good. I watched, uh, to, for some reason today, I've been very into looking at Slinky Dog. And Slinky Dog Dash is like a small family coaster that I wouldn't really call a family coaster since it's not very intense. But I did two times speed, and at, at, when I went back to one time speed, it looks like it was like like super slow. And so if I ever do a review on Slinky Dog, which I'm probably not, then I'm going to give it a not very good rating since it's super slow. I've actually been on it before, and I, it's eh, after going on Hagrid's, it's it's not very good. And also, after going on Guardians of the Galaxy, and which is super smooth, it actually uh, it's not that smooth. I mean, it is very smooth, but compared to Hagrid's or Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, it is not smooth. And also, if I didn't mention Hagrid's actually has a motorbike and a sidecar this plv you're seeing is from the motorbike but yeah out of all hagrid's is an awesome ride and if our it's my favorite coaster as of right now i'm pretty sure i'm gonna go on icebreaker sooner or later i don't know when maybe next time i go to orlando or sea world and next time i go there i will ride icebreaker and that will probably be my new favorite coaster um, also, we might go to Bush Gardens Tampa, and we might ride Cheetah Hunt, and what's the other one called? Oh, my cousin wants to ride Iron Quasi. Insane. But, um, and also, also that Cobra's Curse, the spinning, the spinning coaster. And, yes, yeah, so, um, that's it for today's review, 
And finally, what everyone's been waiting for, if you've been waiting for this, then we have entertainment. Yeah, we have the score I give Hagrid's Motorbike Adventure. I am going to give it because, just because it has seven launches that are pretty intense. I am going to, that's, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I am only giving, I would have given it a 10 out of 10, but I haven't ridden Icebreaker, um, um, Cheetah Hunt, and uh, what do you call it? Icebreaker, Cheetah Hunt, and Cobra's Curse. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be better than Cobra's Curse, um, but... As of right now, it is my favorite roller coaster. So if you're looking for my right now vote, I would give it a 10 out of 10. Uh, but if you're looking like, if you if you want to see what I rate this coaster after I ride Hat, Cheetah Hunt and um, Icebreaker and Cobra's Curse, then um, I will make a review on uh, Cheetah Hunt and not Cheetah Hunt, Cobra's Curse. And Icebreaker, I will be making a review on those. And also, yep, and Guardians of the Galaxy. So once I'm going Icebreaker, Cheetah Hunt, and Cobra's Curse, then I will make a review on them. And and then, like, yeah, I guess, well, then my rating on Hagrid's will be a bit different. So as of right now, Hagrid's is a 10 out of 10, my favorite coaster in the world and i've only been on like 10 coasters yeah i've only been on i've been on more than 10 coasters actually big thunder mountain that's 11 yeah i've been on 12 coasters if you count splash mountain and splash mountain is is it's not really a water ride i, I mean i'm not it's a water ride it's not much of a coaster but it does have one part that is a coaster. The drop actually is no water on it, so I would count as a coaster. Also, um, Jurassic Park River Adventure. Yeah, so anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and see you guys in the next video. And yeah, well, that wraps up everything for today. And yeah, uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and uh, if you want more reviews on coasters just like this, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell notification. If you ring the bell notification thing, then um, you'll get notifications every time a new video comes out. So when the review for Cheetah Hunt and all those other posters come out, then you'll be the first to watch them. Thanks for watching today's video. I mean, yeah, and uh, see you guys next video.